Hi everybody, thanks for joining. I'm Will Cooper and I work for the MSP430 team at Texas Instruments. This section of the MSP430 FR4X and MSP430 FR2X MCU Overview Workshop will cover the development tools and software available with this platform. These evaluation and development tools as well as software form a comprehensive ecosystem that makes development on the MSP430 FR4X and MSP430 FR2X much simpler. Now that you know that the new MSP430 FR4X and FR2X MCUs are bringing best-in-class power consumption and flexibility to many applications, let's look at evaluation and development. TI continues to grow the ecosystem around MSP430 products to minimize development time and cost. The MSP430 FR4133 can be evaluated using the new Launchpad Development Kit. It is the first Launchpad to offer an onboard LCD. On top of that, it features the EasyFET Programmer Debugger for simple USB communication with a PC and Energy Trace technology compatibility. All of this is available for under $15. We are also offering a new target socket board that can be paired with the MSP FET Programmer Debugger. The TS board provides access to all of the MCU pins for evaluation and integration in a system. This can also be used to debug with our Energy Trace technology. On the software side, we have MSP430 Ware within TI's Resource Explorer. This is available standalone or integrated in Code Composer Studio or IAR Embedded Workbench. It contains everything you need to become an expert using MSP430 microcontrollers. This ranges from documentation such as data sheets and user's guides to code examples, a peripheral driver library, and application libraries for jump-starting software development. Once the initial code is written, optimizers are available to help improve the code size and power efficiency of a design. Optimizer Assistant can help users determine the right compiler optimization levels in Code Composer Studio to make sure they maximize code performance and minimize code size. And then ULP Advisor checks code against a list of common low power rules and Energy Trace can be used to see if there are unexpected spikes in power or energy consumption over time. Here you can get a closer look at the MSP430 FR4133 Launchpad. The part number will be MSP-EXP430 FR4133, and the key features will be IR modulation logic, with a booster pack coming soon to showcase that, and an onboard low-power LCD. Several IDE options can also be used with your MSP430 FR4X and FR2X microcontrollers. This includes Code Composer Studio, which is TI's Eclipse-based IDE that includes everything you need to get started and works with all TI embedded processors. It includes some of our great tools like ULP Advisor, Energy Trace, and MSP430 Ware, and also includes Linux support. In addition to that, a strong third-party offering is available in IAR Embedded Workbench. This full IDE also includes many of our integrated options such as Energy Trace and ULP Advisor. Then, if you're looking for a free or open source option, we have the MSP430 GCC toolchain. It's available standalone or integrated in Code Composer Studio and was a collaboration between Red Hat and Texas Instruments. It's a replacement to the community-driven MSP GCC and can be used in Windows, Linux, and more. Let's take a closer look at MSP430 Ware. It's really a one-stop shop for all things MSP430. What you can see here on the left is that content is immediately at your fingertips. This includes everything from data sheets and errata all the way to hardware design files for your popular launchpad. Then, on the right-hand side, you can see that you can browse through different information. So you can see images of, of your different tools and software, and you can dig deeper in that way. This is really a great way to filter for all the content you need, and it's all in one place, integrated in Code Composer Studio or IAR. Now, as I mentioned, MSP430 Ware is built into TI Resource Explorer. And inside MSP430 Ware, there's really two options for getting started with coding development. You have code examples, which we have available for every MSP430, and the FR4X and FR2X are included in that. And then we'll also have a driver library, which will allow you to abstract your code and make configuration of your peripherals a little bit easier. Here's an example of what it would look like if you use driver library versus traditional C code. 
as you can see, it can save you a ton of lines of code and make coding, in general, easier to read and easier to understand when you go back to it. Now let's get back to low power. Most MCU applications stay in low power modes for most of the time. Applications only need to wake up when absolutely necessary so they can extend battery life. This includes motion detected lights, periodic air sampling for smoke detectors, button presses on a remote, and many more applications. MSP430 has pioneered ultra low power MCU hardware, but those are only a couple pieces of, of the puzzle. Software is another key piece that needs to be optimized because it makes up a big piece of your power consumption. So now we have Energy Trace technology and UOP Advisor to help make your MSP430 FR2X and FR4X more efficient. ULP Advisor will check your code against a common set of ultra low power rules and it'll notify you to let you know where you can make improvements. Then, once you've got all your code optimized from that perspective, you can use Energy Trace to look at your code in real time to understand where your power peaks are and understand if your application is running as it should. Energy Trace is not your ordinary multimeter. It can run from hundreds of nanoamps to milliamps, giving it a great dynamic range that you can only get with expensive equipment today. In addition, it'll quicken your time to market by giving you a graphical representative built into your IDE. On top of that, it's all available with a single tool. You can use it with either the MSP FET with a target board, or you can use it with the launch pad, the MSP-EXP430 FR4133. As you can see, this version of Energy Trace that's going to work on the FR4133 will support current monitoring. If you really care about low power and, and want the state retention and peripheral information, that is available on the MSP430 FR59 and FR69 MCUs with Energy Trace++ technology. With that, I'd like to leave you with our support ecosystem. You can always go to the MSP website, ti.com slash MSP430, to get your data sheets, technical user's guides, app notes, or just read up on the technology. In addition, we've got a great number of TI designs coming out just for the FR2 and FR4 devices. This includes remote controls, water meters, and even thermostats. Then you have the MSP430 product brochure available for looking over the entire portfolio in a short period of time. And we've got support available. So you have the engineer to engineer support forum or E2E -E, at ti.com slash MSP430 forum. And we have the 430 online community available at http colon slash slash www.430.com. Thanks for watching this overview workshop about the MSP430 FR4X and MSP430 FR2X series. Head over to ti.com slash FRAM to learn more and to grab an MSP430 FR4133 launchpad to start evaluating today.